Hello guys, Tim Morris with Tactical Response. And we've been talking med bags and med bags for vehicles. And so I, on occasion, uh, go on road trips with this bike. And uh, so where do I carry my bed bag, med bag and what do I carry? I'll, I'll go show you guys. So in my right pannier over here is where I carry my med bag. Uh, Normally there's other stuff packed in this bag. I, I'm not on a road trip right now, so the bag is empty, but I've got a waterproof liner, but this med bag stays in this pannier at all times. Uh, it's not marked with a red cross, but I know it's my med bag, and if I told somebody to go get it, they would know which one it was, because I tell them it's a green one on top. Uh, if you want to see what's in here, uh, on the outside of the med bag, right here, on this side, there's a complete Voc kit. And I can get it out pulling these straps off, but it's just easier to pull the straps off. Well, there we go. So in here, I got a pair of gloves on the outside. I've got an NPA, which uh, is for clearing the airway. I got a decompression needle for tension pneumothorax. I've got a roll of duct tape if I had to close a, uh, a sucking chest wound. I've got an H bandage. And most importantly, I've got a tourniquet. This happens to be a TK4. So that's a complete med kit on the outside. On the inside of the bag, I've got some other things I can use. Number one, I have a pair of gloves uh, for working, not for medical stuff. These are the medical gloves. That's just for working. I have a spare magazine for an AR. Sometimes I carry an AR. Sometimes I carry AK. Uh, not all the time I do, so uh, I'll put the appropriate magazine in there spare. I have another tourniquet, a TK4 in there. And this is our mini med, med kit. It does have quite as much stuff as a big one does, but I've got a spare one in here. It's got a tension pneumothorax needle. It's got duct tape. It's got uh, gauze for stuffing a wound. It's got uh, safety pins for clipping a lip off if you had to. Uh, and I've also put in mine... Uh, a, uh, a bag of quick clot. So that's not normally comes with it, but I stuff that quick clot in the bag with it as well. I've got a smoke canister. That's for two reasons. Number one, signaling. Let's say uh, I think all the time, because I was on the fire department, I think about calling a helicopter in like there's a major wreck on the interstate. Hopefully it's not me on that bike because they won't need to come get me. I mean, it's, you get wrecked on a bike at high speed, it's usually over with, but I digress. But if I'm calling a helicopter in, the helicopter pilots, when they get ready to land, like to see which way the smoke's rolling, where they can land into the wind. So, and it's also a signaling device. I've got a knife. I also carry one on me, but I've got a spare knife here. And I've also got a uh, road flare that can be used for several things. Uh, signaling, starting a mercy fire if I had to. Uh, just anything you can think of needing a road flare for. So that's what's in my med kit for my bike. Uh, hope this helped you guys. Uh, I would tell you to act accordingly. Uh, and also, uh, just as far as vehicle kits go, whether it be a motorcycle or, or, or a car, you should have one kit for each person that's riding in that car. And, and I I'll go this far and say this. If you have an SUV like a Suburban that holds eight people, even though you may not be carrying eight people today, there should be eight med kits in that car centrally located where everybody can get to it. One for each person that might be in that car. On that bike, the reason I carry this second kit is for another person that they're riding with me. And then also, naturally, all of us guys carry one on us. I've got one in my cargo pocket at all times with a tourniquet, and it's basically a mini kit like this one in my cargo pocket. So um, you can't never go wrong with having more of these. Uh, hopefully in your lifetime you'll get to save a life and not take one so uh, med kits are that's what they're there for to save a life so uh, pack those things pack them where you can get easy access to them uh, pack them where everybody in the vehicle knows where they're at uh, and pack them for the number of people you're going to be around or in that vehicle with you so thanks for watching remember your responsibility you're ready for the fight never ends